Hey, good morning and welcome to Life Online. It's Monday morning. There's some things that I need to get accomplished today that it's going to be outside work. Uh, so I've seen the weather forecast. Uh, they're using the word oppressive, high humidity. I know I'm just going to be drenched in sweat for uh, at least a portion of the day. And uh, I felt some drift toward complaining. Uh, I really thought I wanted to, to do a uh, a week of devotions that would go ahead and talk about attitudes. I think an attitude is is about uh, so important and everything that uh, we do in life uh, is related to our attitude. So the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 4, uh, that chapter is one of the stellar passages. It's a go-to passage that deals with attitudes and what we do with our thought lives and uh, Anyway, uh, Paul speaks of, uh, in uh, chapter 4, he speaks of in verse 12, and he says, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. And the idea is this, that he knew the extremes and experienced them in life. Uh, and by the way, this is the common human experience. There are, uh, we all... Uh, Rick Warren talks about that life is like uh, a railroad uh, that with tracks that go in both directions. And uh, there's times that you have good things coming your way, but there's also times that, uh, man, you're, you're hit with some uh, tough times and bad things. Paul would say that in all of those things, and by the way, this is the common experience. We all know these things. We know what it is to have good days, bad days. We know what it is to have answers to prayer. And we know what it is to have uh, prayers that seem just to kind of be in an ending cry from our, uh, uh, from our hearts and uh, just some uh, unresolved issues. And yet in that, what Paul speaks of is that I have learned the secret. I love that phrase. And this is what I want to work on this week. We're going to start on Monday. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. So in other words, <clears throat> I have found this secret place that uh, in life, that in this journey and my faith walk with God, and it's the spiritual journey, but also it has to do with everything else, with relationships of life, work, work environments, all those things. But I have learned this secret to be content, to be at peace in any and every situation. And then comes that, um, that, that powerful verse that oftentimes we throw out in uh, very improper context, but Paul says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. So here's what I want to challenge you to do. It's Monday, August 10th. Uh, we've got a week in front of us. Uh, we're going to take five days and talk about our attitudes. And uh, when we get to the end of the week, I would love for us to have a little bit of a better glimpse at this great, great secret of just finding contentment in God and giving him thanks. So uh, I want to encourage you as you start your Monday, uh, maybe you've already started the drift toward uh, complaining. Maybe it's over work. Maybe it's over the weather. Maybe it's over raising your kids. I do not know. But this is what I do know. That in all the experiences of life, and yes, we know them, and you're not alone in knowing, yeah, good times, but also bad times. Uh, but in all of that, you can learn the secret of being content in uh, any and every situation. So that's my prayer for you today. Have an awesome, awesome day. Let's make it a great week and let's learn a lot. Blessings.